February 24th, uh, it was my day off, so I was home and uh, in the morning I just looked at the news, uh, uh, it was uh, horrible, so the, the war started, so the Russia started to launch uh, missiles uh, in uh, everywhere in Ukraine, so I called my parents and I my mother already was sleeping because uh, we have different seven hours with the Ukraine. And I talked to my stepfather. So we talk uh, quite, uh, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 minutes. For many Ukrainians in Montreal, sometimes a simple phone call is enough to provide a sense of ease. But after Sergei Bichkov got off the phone with his stepfather in Ukraine, the phone call that followed changed his life forever. They thought that this time it also will be <clears throat> will be okay, but uh, next day, like early in the morning, three in the morning, my brother called me, uh, woke me up, and uh, told me that uh, uh, our stepfather uh, has been killed. Told me that Peter is killed. Bichkov's stepfather, Piotr Evanov, was 66, believed to have been near a window when the glass shattered during a shelling in southern Ukraine. The aftermath seen here in what Sergei says is their neighborhood. So Russians continue to, to destroy the city. So now there is no electricity. So they, they destroy uh, residential houses, uh, hospitals, uh, schools. Uh, and also they destroy all the municipal uh, infrastructure. Now it's no safe area in Ukraine, so he can be killed anytime, anywhere. Bichkov, describing his stepfather as a good man he would often go fishing with and who came from Russia, Siberia to be exact. He always uh, identified himself as Russian and he liked Russia. And uh, he liked Ukraine also, but he liked Russia and he thought that Nothing will happen with him because he's Russian, you know. But it's uh, uh, Russian missiles, they don't check with Russian or Ukrainian, they kill everything, everybody. Bichkov calling on the Canadian government to do more to help the Ukrainian people. Ukrainians fighting, so they need uh, any help. So uh, any help uh, will be appreciated. So the first, uh, they need uh, military help. They need the humanitarian help because now in some places there is nothing to eat. So they need the medical help because a lot of injuries. So people, should, they, they can. So everybody fighting, everybody, not only soldiers. In Montreal, Felicia Adam, City News.